Are you wondering what kind of public transport there is here in Amsterdam and how to use it? Then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Daniela Pereira. Welcome to this channel. I make videos every other week about things to do in Amsterdam and tips on settling in here. In this video, I'll be talking about the tram, bus, metro, ferry, train, as well as different types of tickets and a tip if you get lost on the bus or tram. So let's get into this. Public transport in Amsterdam, not including the train, is operated mainly by a company called GVB. And the tram is the form of transport here that I see people have the most difficulty with. Let me explain why. So starting with the doors, there are certain doors for getting into the tram and certain doors for getting out of the tram. And it depends on the number of carriages, but you can normally gain entry at the door next to the driver, and then there'll be a door sort of near the end of the tram for getting in as well. When you need to get off, ring the bell in good time, identify a door that you can exit from and make sure you press the button on the handle near the door. Now, if you don't press that button, the doors won't always open. And I've seen so many people do this. I've done this myself. You know, the doors don't open and then there's this mad dash to the next set of doors so embarrassing. I've noticed more and more that there are these open stickers next to the buttons now, but not all the trams have them, so it's definitely something to watch out for. When you board the tram, you need to tap in with your ticket, and when you leave, you need to tap out, and you'll see the words in and out on the ticket reader. These machines can be a little bit temperamental sometimes, so you know, if one machine doesn't work, just try another. Sometimes you might also accidentally double tap, um, so always make sure as you leave, it says out bus. In terms of boarding the bus, you normally board near the driver, but sometimes you can board at the other doors too. Just like the tram, you need to tap in and tap out with your ticket. When you need to get off, ring the bell in good time and get off the bus using one of the rear doors. You may also see some buses that are of a different color, and these are run by different companies and serve suburban and regional areas. Metro. The metro is very straightforward. If you are new here and you've got a choice between the tram, bus or metro, I would stick with the metro. Ticket barriers are very clear and again you need to tap in and tap out. The metro will stop at every station and the only thing that you need to worry about is pressing the button to open the door. Ferry. The ferries F1 to F7 are completely free to use. There are several ferry routes, but essentially these ferries are connecting the center bit of Amsterdam with Amsterdam Nord, because in between you have the River Eye. So you'll see pedestrians, cyclists, mopeds, and sometimes even small cars on these ferries. Journey times vary from a few minutes to a maximum of about 15 minutes. When you board the ferry, there are two separate areas. Um, one is mainly for pedestrians and cyclists, and the other is for motorized vehicles. Just before we go any further, if you are getting any value out of this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button as it really helps small channels like mine get noticed by the algorithm. Thank you so much. Train. The Netherlands has a very extensive railway network and it's run by a company called NS. There are different types of train, you know, for example, you have a sprinter train which will stop at every single stop. There's also an intercity train that will only stop at major stations. Some trains are single decker, others are double decker. You will need to tap in and tap out with your ticket. In terms of ticket barriers, you have you know, the standard looking ticket barriers, but you also have this type of barrier where you, I guess, you actively need to remember to tap in and tap out yourself. Tickets. Now, there are so many different types of tickets that you can buy. Um, honestly, it's a little bit confusing. If you are staying in central Amsterdam, here are some ticket options for you. First of all, you have the GVB ticket, which gives you unlimited travel on the bus, tram and metro. It varies in length of time from one hour to 24 hours, right up to seven days. And it's activated the first time you tap in. For the 24 hour ticket, you can buy this in a wide range of places. For example, from the driver on the bus or tram, from vending machines at metro stations, standalone vending machines at certain bus and tram stops, from a GVB kiosk, certain hotels, um, certain bookstores and online as well. Check out the GVB website for a full list of where you can buy this ticket iAmsterdam City Card. Now this card also varies in length of time and you can get one that's 24 hours, 
48 hours right up to 120 hours. The card will give you unlimited travel on the GVB network, free entrance to about 70 museums and attractions, as well as some additional freebies and discounts. You can buy this card online or at the iAmsterdam store, which is located at Central Station. OV chip card. This is what you'll see most locals using. If you're visiting for a while or you live here, then it's definitely worth getting one. Basically, it's a smart card and you can preload money onto it. The card costs seven euros 50 um, to purchase with, you know, with a zero balance and it will last for five years. The blue one is an anonymous card, so anybody can use this, whilst the yellow one is a personal card. So it will have like your name and your photo on it. And the anonymous card can be purchased from NS ticket machines, the GVB kiosk at Central Station, and the Metro vending machines. Now with the personal card, you need to be resident in the Netherlands and have a Dutch bank account because payment can only be made with Ideal. For train tickets, you can buy these at vending machines, service desks, and also online. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is something called OV Pay, and this is currently being rolled out on all forms of Dutch transportation, and it's already available on the GVB network. What it means is that you can use your contactless debit card or credit card or mobile phone as a ticket, and you literally just tap in and tap out. Now, if you are going somewhere new, either on the bus or the tram, and the display screen with you know all the stops isn't working for some reason, then a quick way to find out where you are is to look at the ticket reader because on the ticket reader, it, you know, it will say in or out, but it will also give you the name of the next stop, so you can gauge where you are. I hope that's been useful. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.